but right now we're gonna see how exactly this plays out. This is game number one between the two sister teams, RSG Singapore as well as RSG Philippines. Now take note, uh, RSG Philippines is playing on the blue side, RSG uh, Singapore is playing on the red side. I feel like we do need to uh, you know, sh sharpen my focus at least a little bit to be able to tell these two teams apart. This is definitely going to be a challenge for us as casters, considering that both teams have the same RSG in front of their names here. So definitely got to have a little bit more focus. As we can see so far from the emblems, nothing too strange coming out from either of these teams. And in terms of early game aggression, we're actually not seeing a lot of it here, even though both Light as well as 505 typically like to play quite aggressively. I think this is a lot of respect for their fellow Rover on the opposite side. Yeah, right now just uh, clearing up their lanes and it's really surprising. I mean, Light on that Franco especially and Demon Kite on that Fanny. I feel like I would expect a lot more to come, but that being said, they are still clearing up their jungle as well. So not to say that that isn't going to happen. On the bottom side, Nas getting a little bit of a natural advantage over Diablo with the Thomas. A long time ago, when Thomas was still a very solid pick in the meta, before this recent update, he was always considered to be a solid counter towards heroes like the Esmeralda. So a little bit back to form here, but Ray in a lot of trouble. Oh, doesn't he manage to get the death in us? Welcome, actually, but will it be enough? The answer is no, as he falls as first blood to Demon Kite. And Demon Kite able to escape from Diablo as well. Nat's gonna be following suit. Light not quite getting the iron hook, was a little bit greedy. Wanted to walk closer to the tower before pulling him in and allowing the Esmeralda a little bit more time to be able to juke him out. The turtle has spawned on the bottom side, but right now, RS. SG trying to set up for that, going on to Napsia. Light is here for the backup, but he jukes out the Iron Hook. Diablo gets away with that. Yep, the sprint being used to avoid these hooks from Light is going to be very effective, but we can already see the fact that Nats is able to hold his own 1v2 against both Diablo and Miku at this point is a testament to how strong that Tamas is right now in the EXP lane. Though, you do have to consider both of those heroes are late game scalers, so not enough damage to deal with Nats just yet. Nats now going into the depths, but it's gonna be Bray that steals the turtle from RSGP. Hage, unfortunately, 505 sacrifices himself, but like it's the bloody hunt onto Diablo. Is he going to fall? There's a lot of damage, but he is tanky. Survives for the moment, but it looks like they will be able to close out the kill. Nats with the credit. Yep. He was just caught out in a bit between a rock and a hard place there, Diablo. You might think, why would he walk back towards RSG Philippines rather than back into his jungle? That is because he wanted to kite out the Iron Hook. But because his health was too low at that point, even if he did so, he would not have been able to survive. At the very least though, buying a fair amount of time 1v4 versus RSGPH. Diablo now doing his best to hold his lane. Nas is really abusing this hero here and getting the better of uh, Diablo. Demon Kite uh, so far has two kills to his name. I haven't seen him quite really exert that advantage yet. Yeah, it, it's kind of surprising considering that RSGPH will usually like to start death falling pretty early into the game, roaming around with his team. But I think in this game specifically, Aqua. Oh my goodness, that is a huge hook. Did not see that coming. Uh, well, Bray definitely didn't see that coming as well. I, I Well, he was standing in the open to be fair, I think. So an easy hook there for Light. Manages to get him right into the depths of the tower. Unfortunate for Bray, he already has two, uh, two deaths now to his name. Yeah, I already highlighted earlier that this Barat didn't really seem like the answer RGSG needed to complete their composition. And yeah, 0 and 2 right now, not ideal. Damon Kai, we mentioned, he's not really participating with his team right now, but is still able to offer damage in these situations simply because of how much mobility the hero has. Yep, and that also is going to help him take down the objectives. Right now, Turtle is spawning. They are prepping themselves, primed to take this one.
together as well. Uh, away from RSG, SG, first one having gone the way of the red side team, but the suppression comes out onto 505, and there is no more frontline for them. Miku, Miku, Mi gets taken down as well, and Nas looking for the next target. Diablo, don't think he will be able to take them down, though, a bit too tanky at this point. Nas is having an absolute whale of a time down here, zoning out a both Bray and Diablo at the same time, even after picking off a kill for himself, that gives a free turtle over to RSGPH. And we have to note, Eman has been left alone up here in lane the entire time, already breaking down the very first tower of the game. Yeah, RSGPH slowly, well, uh, not as aggressive, but they're still, you know, gradually picking at the defensive of RSG here. Nas and Diablo, I feel like we're just watching this all day, you know, them brawling it out. It out. Uh, but slowly but surely, Nas is probably going to fall off and Diablo will get that lead as he gets into the later parts of the game. Nats almost taking out Diablo here as well as Eman finally getting targeted, but a nice timing on the flicker gets him away in the back line. Demon Kite wants to hunt down the Xavier, but it's Braid that's going to be taken out by Light thanks to the group up from RSGPH. They're now looking for 505, who gets hooked backwards. Another stack goes the way of Aqua. Great plays by RSG Philippines there. Aqua actually popped the bad speeds there. Enough damage to take down Bray, even though he's really tanky and well, unfortunate for 505 on that hook as well. Nast capitalizing on this even further by pushing his lead on the bottom lane. Not only does RSG get two kills and top that up, they might just get three here in the form of Diablo. It's gonna be able to seal the deal and RSG Philippines, extremely dominant now. I think anyone who has watched MPLPH knows how well Nats is able to play on that Esmeralda, so he knows exactly what the hero's limits are since he's playing against it. And right now, RCSG really feeling the brunt of that pressure. Demon Kite trying to look for an opportunity here. Uh, doesn't quite come through. He has to be careful though. I mean, Miku Miku Mi with the stunts potentially could stop him in his tracks. Uh, well, not forgetting Baby Cakes as well. So there are a few, uh, well, groups of counters to be able to get at Demon Kite. Yeah, but I don't think Demon Kite is too concerned about that because he has his team backing him up. I think there is an engagement going down there. It did look like from the minimap, Light was able to get a hook onto Bray, but not realizing how many members of RSGSG there were, ends up getting taken out himself. Now that they have the numbers advantage, I'm not sure if RSG will look to press this, but Demon Kite is definitely here to play. So zoning them out and threatening to be able to get something huge damage output onto Miku Miku Mi here forces them to back out. Nats now continuing to zone out the backline of RSG-SG. This Tamas is an absolute monster at this stage of the game, and his presence is more than enough to just prevent RSG-SG from engaging at all. Oh, Bray in some trouble. Bad speed is being popped. A full retreat on the side of RSG SG. Nothing they can do to contest that turtle, and it's going to go the way of RSG Philippines again. Slowly but surely, the advantages are stacking up for RSG Philippines, and now they're invading the enemy jungle. Oh, Demon Kite gets caught out though with the fatal legs, gets eaten. Detona as welcome catches him out. They take out the Fanny. Bray will be happy to give up his life for that. Well, trading out one for one between the junglers here. I guess RSG SG does manage to find one after all. A little bit of uh, well overextending, I guess, trying to get uh, the jungle buff away from RSG SG. Yeah, I can't fault them for that. But ooh, Dawning Light doing a lot of damage to Na Oh ooh, my goodness! That first coming from Aqua onto Baby Cakes. Insane. Already at this stage, eight, almost nine minutes into the game. Yeah, he is 3 0 on the Cecilia. 505 pops the conceal, looking for something, but gets taken out. Wesker right in the face. Eman doing a lot of damage as well. Yeah, we can see right now, in terms of the player's goal, Eman is right on top. That's not where you want Eman to be, followed up uh, by Nat and Aqua. This is not looking good for RSGSG. What is notable about... Oh, hold on. <laughs> they find Bray again. He's just not having a good time here. I wasn't going to mention, the thing about the RSG teams is that they're capable of adapting to situations. If they are behind, they will play calcula calculatively to make sure that they don't stay behind for too long. But when they're going head to head, that advantage kind of becomes null. Well, I guess we can't count out the Atlas, you know, they still have that and we've seen what that can do. But right now, Demon Kite going right into Baby Cake, the first comes 
through onto 505 as well. It's two kills for Demon Kite now. He is just shredding through RSGSG. If there wasn't a reason to ban Fanny against RSG PHB4, there definitely is now. Demon Kite, an absolute mechanical monster on this hero. Diablo trying his best to split push to create space for his team, but the Lord already getting taken down by RSG PH. Yeah, nothing RSG SG can do about this. Diablo, well, I like that, you know, at this stage, there's nothing much they can do. So yes, they go uh, play the macro instead, find other places on the map that they can potentially potentially claw their way back into the game with, but RSGPH, they're setting up for something here in the bushes. Yep, they're trying to find them, but 505, he, he knows they're there, right? It doesn't oh. look like it. He gets taken out just like that mega kill. And now, RSGSG one man down as the Lord pushes up the top lane. RSGPH want to try and get an inhibitor with this. Mm -hmm. Hook on to break again. Doesn't get enough damage. Actually, no, the Bats Feast is coming through now. And they do manage to take him down. Unfortunately, Light gets traded out for that as well. On the bot side, Diablo, another kill zone. Three down as well as an inhibitor on the top side. And my burst out, oh. baby cakes. That's one more added to the Death of RSG. What is that reaction timing from Emon being able to perfectly time the flicker to escape the fatal Lynx 505 despite respawning straight into the conceal, not able to cash them out and they're able to take one inhibitor that bottom tier 2 as well. Demon Kite now has full control. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is really hard. You know, one, it just blinked one second and baby uh, Miku Mikumi just disappeared. That's how much damage Aqua is putting out at this moment. Now, even Bray not going to be able to survive it for long. And now, RGBH, they're just going to constantly break down these towers. Again, this is the power of Renner. D. Beatrix able to take down turrets even without a minion wave. And there's nothing RSGSD can do about this. None of them are tanky enough to even try to block these shots. And I think the thing about uh, the thing about RSGSG is, yes, they are tanky, but even then, that's not enough. At the same time, it's not like they have a great composition to adopt a plan B, for example, to push on the other side of the map. They kind of have to play together here. Yeah. That's all they can really do when they've been forced into their base. We can see that the net worth lead for RSGPH now is already 10k. In terms of item builds, Demon Kite nearing the end of his build as well. Emma looking pretty comfortable. He only has a Hunter Strike, Malefic Roar, and Blade of Despair, but is already wrecking shop. And Aqua especially. One item away from completing his build, in comparison, you just see the number of empty slots on the side of RSGSG, and that's instantly enough to know how well this game is going for them. Yeah, this is really rough for RSGSG. They do get a Fatal Links onto Ness, but is that the right target? No, Bray gets hooked on the left side. The Mystic Field comes oh. into Sunshine, but it's not enough. Demon Kite jumps into the back to take out Baby Cakes. RSGSG, they're down to the last three people. There are minions charging, so RSG Philippines likely will be able to siege the rest of their defenses. RSGPH right now are basically a passing storm to RSG. GSG. So much damage coming out of them from the most unforeseen places. It's gotten to the point where they're so far ahead that even the best reaction timing you could possibly have isn't enough to escape from their clutches. RGSG, they're still alive for now, but now that we've reached this point, 22 kills to 3, RGPH will be looking to close out this game pretty soon. Yeah, they definitely are. And right now, RSG uh, Philippines are trying to set up for something here. Now, in the meantime, Nats actually found uh, Diablo on the back and stopped him from recalling. Having to walk all the way back to base, just delaying that time. Just insane plays here by Philippines. Luminous Lord now pushing in the mid wave. This is going to be the final push from RSGPH. The hook does not land, gets stopped by the Mystic Field. Diablo trying to stop the inhib from falling, but it will go down anyway as Miku Miku Mi almost drops to the bat impact. Nats 
Now 1v4, he's absolutely fine though. He's just going on top of 505. Baby Cakes gets taken out oh. by the bat impact. Demon Kite in the background. The tuna's welcome. Not gonna matter too much to Nats as Ray is taken out by Emon. Diablo is still trying his best to delay RSGPH, but that's gonna be a double kill going over to the Beatrix. They're just falling one by one by one. Now Darling Light comes through, but is that going to be enough? Miku Miku Mi falls and the crystal is getting chunked down. RSG Philippines take game number one. Absolutely convincing victory from RSG PH showing their sister team from Singapore how it...